Well, if you use Facebook, you better choose your friends on the website wisely. They may actually be negatively affecting your credit score. Wow, that's right. Bad friends could mean bad credit, at least to some banks. Here to explain how and why this is happening is the owner of the credit repair agency Better Qualified, Paul Astier. Welcome to the show, Paul. Thanks for having me on. Now, Paul, you, you got to help us out here because I've heard of employees firing people for posting inappropriate things on Facebook or, you know, kicking in at the beach when they're called in sick, <laughs> stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> I've seen that before. Yep. It actually happened. Uh -huh. But now you're saying that your Facebook friends can actually affect your credit score. A hundred percent. Not only your credit score for banking, uh, it's also used for insurance purposes. Really? So the worst part about this is when this hit the wire the other day, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the CEO of a credit repair company called Better Qualified. Mm -hmm. I did not realize this has been going on for three years. You're wow. Kidding. Since 2010, insurance companies have been using social media data to determine premiums for life insurance. So how does it work exactly? So if so, your friend or your Facebook buddy has bad credit, that reflects upon you in real life? That's really only with certain creditors. But okay. the big picture says, if I'm an insurance company and you apply for a $5 million life insurance policy, mm -hmm. I want to know what you do every day. Mm -hmm. And I can find that out in two seconds. Okay. Wow. The company itself does not do it, the bank or the insurance company. There are companies that have come out of the woodwork, so to speak, uh, they're data aggregate companies, and they compile data on all of us every single day. Every time you make a post, they capture it. And they wanna know, are you at Burger King? Are you at McDonald's? Are you at the bar three nights a week, four nights a week? Are you skydiving, jet skiing? What are you doing every single day? That could make you a high risk That's candidate. That's right. Now, Not as an you. insurance company, I can ask you for a filter, or s numerous filters. I wanna know, have you asked your friends in the past year about a bankruptcy attorney? Because if I'm a bank, I might not lend you any money. Oh, okay, but I can see so how Big Brother smoking. is really watching. Oh, oh, it's monitoring every second. Everything scary. that we do. Wow, okay, so I can imagine why they see you posting pictures of you smoking on Facebook, and that may say, okay, they're not going to live as long as they're smoking or something like that. And that if you're smoking, if you're hanging around friends that are smoking, then maybe you will start smoking. But has there actually been a study that proves that shady Facebook friends could be shady credit? Not specifically for credit yet, but okay. the data has already been collected. Mm. So the data already shows that if you hang around people that smoke, you're more likely to smoke. If you hang around people that are obese, you're mo more likely to become obese. So wow. in, in lack of a better <laughs> cliche, and I've been thinking about this all night, okay. but birds of a feather flock uh -huh. together. Really? And there's a reason why you hang out with the people that you hang out. And Big Brother wants to know who you're hanging out with. So if you have athletic, thin friends who, you know, drink green juice all the time and only eat salads, then you are more, um, you're more acceptable to a You're more attractive. More attractive, exactly. To an insurance company, really? for sure. It's called predictive modeling. Predictive. And it's been going on forever. Predictive modeling. Predictive modeling. Okay. But now, social media has made it real easy. So in the past, when an insurance company may hire a, a health professional, to come out to your house and ask you lots of questions. It takes an hour. I did it back in the day when I applied for health insurance, uh, life insurance. They don't want to do that anymore. They want to say to a data company, tell me all about Loa. Mm. And they can get it, and more <laughs> accurate data, because when the, they're asking you questions, you might lie. Mm -hmm. You might say, no, I never smoke. Right. And if you only smoke once in a while, you probably pass the test. That's true. But on Facebook, they're going to look at your pictures and scan. And if you've got a cigarette in your hand, every other picture, that's Done. a problem. Done. So which companies primarily are doing this? Well, they haven't. They're not forthright and forthcoming mm. with who is using it yet. So it's a little duplicitous The attorneys duplicitous have, have weighed in. Okay. Uh, under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, uh, specifically for banking and credit, it says any written, oral, or otherwise communicated information falls under that act. And we're protected somewhat. But the only protection really says is if they use the information, they have to let you know about it. Mm. So they may say that we uh, declined your application or your premium is higher because of this information that we found on social media sites. But wow. so which company would actually admit that? Right. We will they, say have we'll, to. they have to. If they have to. That's the law. So really? we do have some protections in place. If they're using it, they have to disclose that they're using so it. So you can actually say to a person, the reason you're paying a higher premium is because there are 15 photos of you 
That's twerking. Right. But here's the here's, here's <laughs> twerking, the problem with that. Twerking and smoking and here's drinking, the and with we that. don't trust you. How did they you? get that information in the first place? Mm. And I'll ask you because I, I'll admit it. Until yesterday, I didn't. I've never read the terms and uh, conditions, terms and usage policy for. Facebook. Have you ever read it? No. I I've read it only for story purposes. Right. Okay. So yeah. most people, when I they download it. it onto their phone, it says, do you accept these terms and conditions? Yeah, check. Accept. Uh -huh. And you allow now, read them to put everything Because up. it's amazing. And here's one clip that I've taken. Okay. And it blew my mind. What? Okay. It's the data use policy. Uh -huh. What does Facebook use your data for? And it's not only you. If after this uh, show today, I send you a friend request because I can look you up very easily. Mm -hmm. Your name is always public. That means it's visible to anybody in the world. Right. Okay? So I put your name in. I send you a friend request. If you accept it, this is what we get. We also put together data from the info we already have about you and your friends. Mm. So, so we just became one, and uh, the man uh, backstage said it best. We just merged our universes. So wait, just because Lola is accepting you as a friend, that means that they can now get to both of your information. That is exactly correct. Wow. That's very interesting. So, okay, That's so mind-blowing, actually. Mind-blowing. And it's more than that. There's, there's pages and pages and pages of privacy policies and things that people should really use before they consider. It's an application. It's called an app for a reason. Mm -hmm. Consider it like a bank application. Before you answer that question, you should think about it. And nobody thinks about it. They just say yes. Everybody I wants to be on it. Facebook real quick. Everybody so, wants. <laughs> but how realistic wow. is this? Is it really being used that often that we should be concerned about it? It's been being used for three years. I almost felt like the Edward Snowden mm -hmm. thing is happening right before my eyes. Mm -hmm. Because once you this hits the airwaves today, mm -hmm. people are going to say, what are you talking about? I applied for life insurance two years ago and was denied. I, I thought I was in good shape. I thought I did all the right stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe they took a peek at your, your Facebook page and saw you were bungee jumping or base jumping right. off of some building somewhere. Skydiving or Sky something. Skydiving, yeah. anything. Okay, you so know, you like to eat raw, exotic foods. You went on a trip. You did this. You did that. People disclose that information. So, so what's should, the key? Should we not yeah. post these pictures? <laughs> what if we want to share the fact that we jumped out of a plane and survived the very with first our friends? What should we that, do? That people, the first step that, that you can take, there are some things to do to protect mm -hmm. yourselves, is don't make your information public. Okay. If you just want to share it with your friends, that's a different level of security. So put your privacy settings on your Put your Facebook privacy page. settings. Okay. They're out there. It's easy. Go to your settings uh, page and change it from public to friends only. Mm -hmm. Most people, because by default, Facebook makes it public. Mm -hmm. You have to change it to friends only. And if you don't do that, that information is public to everybody in the world. Wow. But here's the thing, you could also manipulate the system. Oh, yes, you so could. You could <laughs> so let me go out and get some good friends. You could go out, you know, <laughs> balance it out, rent a friend. I'm send you guys friend requests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, to make yourself look, like like you said, more, you know, now that more people palatable are to aware people. of it, and I right. think they've done a, you know, the, let's call them the big data companies and the banks, they've done a good job at not having this become public information because mm. it's been happening for three years. I'm the CEO of a credit company. I did not know this was happening. Wow. So who has to be concerned about this? Just people without established credit on Facebook or people going after life insurance? I think, you know, if you're less than perfect credit. Mm -hmm. If you're an 800, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay. But if you're less than so perfect you can credit jump and they all you start want going to. down. <laughs> if you have 800. Well, whatever you want. Yeah. They start going down the, the tier system and they say, okay, if you're a 620 or below, I want to know a little bit more about this person. Mm -hmm. So those are the folks, unfortunately, and most people fall into that category. Less than 5% of, uh, of people in the, in the country are 700 or, or above. So does this mean we should just go do some, you know, Facebook house cleaning and be like, oh, no, you can't be my friend, can't be my friend. <laughs> the first, well, I don't know about that, but the first thing I would do is change your privacy setting. Okay. From public to friends only. Well, what okay. about other social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, you know, there are other places out there. Can they collect information from that they as well? They can, but think about the information that's posted on Twitter and LinkedIn. It's mm -hmm. not as private right. as Facebook. Mm. Facebook is Saturday night. I had much too much. I'm, I'm drunk posting. Mm, you know, right. drunk texting, drunk posting. I'm putting something on there that doesn't belong right. on there. No, and right. it could come back to haunt you. So mm. pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to who you uh, accept as a friend. If you don't know somebody, obviously don't accept them as a friend. <laughs> uh, they're not your friend. They're not your friend. <laughs> um, and young people in particular need to be mindful of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. Couldn't have said it better. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the thing that struck me also was about Snapchat. 
right? Mm -hmm. There was a big concern well, about nasty photos. Snapchat. Exactly, yeah. right? So parents are preaching to their kids like I preach to my son. If you take a picture and you post it on Facebook, it's there forever. It lives forever. So some genius, a programmer comes up with a program called Snapchat. You know what Snapchat yeah, I is? I sure do. I can send you anything I want. Once you open it, it self-destructs in three, five, ten seconds. Wow. But does it really destruct? No. Never. Where does it Never. Get? Never. Never. It lives There's somewhere. There's a digital, <laughs> it lives forever in a cloud. Yep. And it, when, it, when it rains, it's going to pour oh. on somebody. Oh. <laughs> well, and speaking of that, especially with the that young good, people, right? that that it's going to pour. <laughs> that was good. But, you know, in that same vein, I don't think that a lot of people realize that employers are also looking at this information when oh, they're hiring absolutely. people and saying, you know, I want to see what they're up to when they're not at work. College mm -hmm. admissions. Yep. Oh, think about wow. it. Very yeah. true. A kid who looks good, right? His mm -hmm. yearbook quote is perfect. Mm -hmm. He went through school smiling. Everybody loved this kid. They're going to look at, 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 in your closet, and they're going to look at wow. your Facebook and your social media data, and they don't do it. They don't take the time to go through each person's thing. They hire companies that compile this through filters, and they, they find out everything they want to know in five seconds. Wow. wow. So keep it clean and set those privacy settings. Exactly. All right. This is great information. This is <laughs> great information. <laughs> My go? mind is... <laughs> infinity times In infinity. Infinity times infinity. Exactly. Yeah. First of all, I love that you got that joke. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. We really appreciate it. Thanks you, for having Paul. me on. All right. You're watching the Rise Entertainment 360.